Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and we are talking about the Realme X2 today which just launched in India. If you take a closer look at the phone, it's nothing but a revamped Realme XT with a new processor, a new charging tech and an improved selfie camera. The Realme X2 rocks the Snapdragon 730G which is considered a big upgrade over the Snapdragon 712 that powers the Realme XT. And with the new processor, the biggest thing to expect is better performance. And that's exactly what we tested in this video. Before we delve into the tests, let's talk a little bit about the Snapdragon 730G. The chipset is a generational upgrade over the Snapdragon 712 and is manufactured on a smaller 8 nanometer process. It features newer, more powerful Cryo 470 Gold cores clocked at 2.2 GHz and Cryo 470 Silver cores clocked at 1.8 GHz. The G in the Snapdragon 730G stands for gaming, particularly because the Adreno 618 GPU in the SoC is overclocked to render graphics faster. Then there's HDR gaming, jank reducer and built-in anti-cheating mechanisms. Does the Realme X2 bring about an improvement in performance? Let's find out. We ran a bunch of CPU and GPU benchmarks on both the Realme XT and the Realme X2 and compared the results. Looking at the scores in the table, it's clear that the Realme X2 is around 20% faster on Antutu, 41% faster on Geekbench 5 single-core CPU test, and 21% faster in Geekbench 5 multi-core CPU test. And in benchmarks that simulate real-world scenarios, the Realme X2 ran around 17-21% faster. The GPU benchmark numbers didn't show a massive improvement, however. 3 d Mark Slingshot and GFX Bench scores for the Realme X2 were only around 8-10% to better than the Snapdragon 712 on the Realme XT. Interestingly, Qualcomm claimed a good 18% boost in graphics processing, but we only saw a 10% increase in our tests. But that's just the benchmarks telling only a part of the story. But then, we also played a lot of games on the two devices and noted the frame rates and stability using Gamebench. Based on the results displayed on your screen, both the Realme X2 and the Realme XT performed almost identically in gaming. In fact, on Call of Duty Mobile, the Realme XT notched up 58 frames per second with 99% stability, while the Realme X2 clocked just 56 FPS at 77% stability. However, both PUBG Mobile and Asphalt 9 clocked 30 FPS, but the X2 offered slightly better stability. Now, we also observed the battery drain while we gamed and even ran a 15 minute long 1080p video on YouTube and noted the battery drop. And here too, the Realme X2 and the Realme XT were largely similar. Both the Realme X2 and the Realme XT dropped 3% battery during the video playback test. And interestingly, after 15 minutes of gaming, the Realme X2 dropped 10% battery while the Realme XT dropped just 8% battery. But what really surprised me was the charging speeds. This is one place where the Realme X2 should have achieved better results, but using the 30W VOOC 4.0 charger, the Realme X2 charged to 65% from 43% in 15 minutes, while the Realme XT charged from 67% to 45% in 15 minutes using the bundled 20W VOOC charger. Now doing the math, you will know that the phones charge the same 22% of battery in 15 minutes. Now based on all these tests, the Realme X2 doesn't seem to provide that big of an upgrade as promised. It's certainly not 18% faster as Qualcomm claimed. Yes, we do see a good bump in benchmark numbers, but in gaming, the experience is more or less the same. Even the battery life and charging speeds were largely similar between the two phones. For better performance, we would suggest you stick to the Realme XT only, for now. There's not that big of an improvement to warrant spending a little more. Now that's all that we had to tell you in this video. Let us know what you thought of our testing process in the comments below. And do hit the bell icon to stay up to date with our videos. Thanks.